Yeah, so good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of uh, Wiki Indaba 2023. Um, so for the first session in uh, this room, um, yeah, we do have uh, Alice and Emmanuel who are going to be talking about uh, strategic uh, planning for community growth. So yeah, I'll hand over to Emmanuel for, um, and Alice to take it over. Thank you. Hello, I'm Emmanuel from Wikimedia Cote d'Ivoire. I am a program manager and uh, I'm very happy to be with you at Wikimedia. I'm here to share with you about strategic planning for community growth. Uh, one thing is to have a community. Another thing is to see this from that community being alive and being growing. So we in Cote d'Ivoire, we have experiment, experimented writing a strategy for the next four years. And I'm here to show, to show, sh share with you, sorry, why we did it, how did we did it, and also things we can get back by writing the strategy for our community. Then um, let's go for the first, thank you. Let, let's go for the first, um, okay, the first slide. We, we made our Cote d'Ivoire, we exist since uh, 2013 and have been affiliated to the Media Foundation since November 2024. Now we are 2014. We are celebrating our 10 years from November this year to November 2024. The main objectives <laughs> for writing our strategy is first seeking to perpetuate Wikimedia Cote d'Ivoire and also to develop, contribute to develop the Wikimedia uh, movement in the world. Why did we write it? That, that's what, what I, I, I'm saying. Then how did, you, did we make it? I represent two things. The first is the step we use to write and the se second things is the method we use to make our strategy. About the step, sorry, about the step, the first thing we do, uh, we did was drafting a diagnostic analysis for Wikimedia Code through a mapping of player and also a SWOT analysis for its ecosystems. It was important for us to know our strengths, our weaknesses, also, um, opportunity we can get from our environment. After that step, we present the analysis to our community at the general assemblies, general annual general meeting, and then we write a strategy. After that, the last step was to present and make the validation with our community again at the annual general meeting. 2020. These are the steps we follow for writing our strategy. After that, sorry, we can see now the method. Thank you. For the method, first thing we, we did was documentary research. We make research for physical and also a uh, numeric document about Wikimedia Cote d'Ivoire. All things we, we have done, we collect, we select, we collect it. And based on this, we uh, made some uh, work. After documentary, we made survey, in-person and also online survey to see uh, how people see Wikimedia Cote d'Ivoire, if they have some ideas, if they have something they think we need to improve upon. So this survey we made with uh, association stakeholders, particularly members, local and international partner, partners. We survey uh, with uh, some people of foundation, Wiki, Wiki uh, in Africa, Wikimedia France, different partners just to take back from them ideas 
for the, the community. After that, graphing the, for the analysis and cartography of player in Wikimedia ecosystem, then we made a, pre a presentation to our community so that they will see the state of our community, our user group, and based on that, decide for the coming years about our community. Then we made a brainstorming session with people of Wikimedia Côte d'Ivoire to collect ideas, then we will be free to draft the strategy. After that, we work, organize a working session to finalize writing the strategy. Before closing the session, we publish the draft and open it so that all people of the community will be able to add or to put inputs if they have before closing. And then we when we finish, we publish our strategy on commons. And from uh, since July, we are communicated on our strategy. This is the method we use for writing our strategy. What can we get back by working or by writing a strategy? We think the first thing is a better orientation of our group perspective for the defined period. People know where we are going for the next four years. Also a clear understanding of the main lines for our strategic, we have five main lines. Then all activities we will organize for the next four years will be in this axis. So it's a clear, it's clear for all the community. They know where we are going for the next year, for the next four years. Also identifying potential future risk for our activities and finding solution for those risks. Another point that is very important is the great involvement of the community members. This strategy is for the community. So because they have the one who wrote and also give, gives uh, uh, ideas, they will be more involved when it will be the time to practice or to execute what we prefer. And finally, the possibility for of obtaining multi years funding from the foundation for a better de development of activities. So these are things we think we can get back by writing a strategy and, um, and see our community, see our user group being grown. So I thank you for your attention and uh, I'm available for any question, even from any uh, adding things. Thank you. Is there any question? Can we take it here? Yeah. Okay. Question. So, um, sorry, yes. Then after me, Alice will present also, and then we'll come back for the question. Thank you again. Alice, you have the floor. Okay. Uh, good morning, colleagues. Uh, good morning, online audience. Um, a special welcome to you. My name is Alice Chibombo Ekanya. And I'm presenting the I'm representing the Wikimedia Community User Group of Uganda. And I would like to share with you, as well as the rest of Africa, strategic planning as a part of community growth in our context. Now, before I proceed, Emmanuel has said most of what I should have said. She stole the exam, but we will move on. And um Cote d'Ivoire in Uganda, the user groups went through the process at very much the same time with an overlap of, let's say, five months in between. And I must say that some of the things that we did during our process, we greatly benefited by consultations with some individuals from Cote d'Ivoire. And I remember I had a specific conversation with um, a gentleman called Donatien Kanga. I don't even know if he remembers but look through your messages. <laughs> All right. So we move on to strategic planning as a part of community growth. So as the Wikimedia Community User Group, we have been formally established since the year 2014. And we define ourselves as 
a team of self-motivated individuals who not only improve articles on Wikimedia Foundation project websites, but mainly promote free and open access to knowledge locally. But since our inception and the time we actually had this strategy process and the planning, we were operating as a loose entity. You know, it's a group of individuals. There's no form, there's no shape. And every time we come up with plans, it's not like we have long term, long term focus. So it is, um, you could say our actions were in response to very many of the situations. And this was reflected in some of the activities that we were doing. So we decided that, um, or some very visionary individuals actually looked at it as this is the next logical step because now we had registered as an NGO. The NGO board was requesting for these kinds of documents. The Wikimedia Foundation, when we requested for grants, they would ask us, do you have a plan for growth? Do you have a plan for the next year, the next two years? Where do you see yourselves? And even the community that we serve was asking this, this, uh, these questions. So as you can see, formulating this plan was deliberate. It was intentional because we needed to define the necessary actions that, to achieve our desired objectives for a five-year period. You'll ask why five, because two was too little. By the time you're consolidating a two-year plan, it's too much work. So there was also the legal and statutory requirement because it's a tool of governance. We are registered as an NGO. The NGO Bureau and the board and the government needs to know what our plan is for the future. Then we also had a lot of growth in the community in terms of numbers and the diversity and how could we cater for them within that framework. And we also needed a structured framework to track our progress, to ensure accountability, and also give actionable direction so that not everything is a reaction to anything. But above all, we needed to determine our relevance to the community we serve. Very many people do more or less the same thing, but how different are we because we are competing for the same audience? So this is the process. More or less uh, the same as what Ivory Coast went through with a few differences. We had formal and informal consultations within and out of the community. We benchmarked, we benchmarked with um, organizations that have more or less the same purpose as us. How do they go about? What was the need for that in all that? So we had a lot of formal and informal communications. And then I think it was in the year 2021, during the SAPG, we specifically asked for money for the process. And I'll get back to that because that comes later. And using that money, we hired a consultant for the process. We didn't have the expertise. We didn't have the, the human resource to do it. And we needed an expert. And then later on, we had a, we had talked about it but we had never had an official introduction of the consultant to the community because it raised a lot of excitement and expectations needed to be not only clarified, but managed. And that happened in September of 2022. They went ahead to ask us for relevant documentation. And I must admit that at this point, we were being exposed. The documentation was scattered. People who had the information were scattered. We had, we were in possession of information that we didn't even know that we had or the relevance of that. So the strategy process as a word of warning can expose your backside. So we gathered this um, relevant documentation, submitted it, and then together with the community, as well as the consultant, we identified key respondents and he interacted with them. Now the respondents were drawn from our volunteer community, but they were also drawn from Wikimedians who had been part of our community and had started communities in their country and had been part of our journey. We had some Wikimedians from Ghana, we had some from Rwanda, as well as some Wikimedians from Tanzania, and then community stakeholders, especially from the government. 
And then later on, we had uh, two sessions in particular. Now, with a few respondents, what was, was online info um, interviews. How do you view the organization? And then to consolidate all this, we had in-person sessions two times. They were part of brainstorming, clarifying. Just I think we have that images. They were part of brainstorming and clarifying. And most of the respondents that were interviewed online were also able to come and be with us in person. And it was a lot of back and forth. Like I mentioned, it will expose the differences in the community and the expectations. And you'll spend over an hour arguing about the wording of the vision and the mission. What will it mean? So it's a carefully worded thing. And these were some of the outcomes. So we had never had an opportunity to have all the stakeholders together at one point and we engaged at least 40 stakeholders obviously there were more but they were not able to join because of one reason or the other and then very many volunteers coming into this had always participated with us but it was disembodied they didn't feel like they were really part of the organization but this increased their sense of ownership and cohesion because of the engagement and then people always used to say so am i a member of the user group what does it take to be a user group so that was also defined during the process still community consensus we were able to identify the vision the mission and the values of the organization and then we identified these strategic focus areas governance community expansion increased partnerships, awareness and advocacy, capacity building and innovation. And these revolve around our main vision and mission and how it also aligns with the Wikimedia Foundation's vision and mission. And then we documented it on Meta. And we also had some podcast episodes where we interviewed members and they talked about what the process was like for them. What do they hope for the future? And all this has been documented too. So you can read more about this. This is the draft that we have so far. Uh, the strategy process is not a walk in the park and it doesn't take a day or two. There's a lot of going back and forth. And uh, to clarify expectations, you will not be able to satisfy everybody a lot of your data will be exposed. At times, you'll have to build from the ground up, but you go through it over time so that by the time the final document is released, the final strategy is released, you are able to account for it, you are able to stand by it, and everybody is confidently able to say, I participated in that, so I cannot complain that much at that point. Thank you very much. Emmanuel and I will be taking your questions. Any questions? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, my question is uh, for, for Emmanuel from uh, You said, like, when I was looking at your plan, it took one year to come up with this. In March 2020, so I wanted to find out, was it the first time that the uh, principal was working on uh, on strategy planning? Did you plan like that? Uh, why did it take so much time? And uh, did you uh, hire a consultant or did you have other the skills you needed to involved? Thank you. Uh, the first question was uh, about the time. How long? The process make yeah. then also the second question was it the first time so about the time it's it's it uh, we write from um, 2022 to 2023 so one year for so one year and uh, it's it has taken this time because many things inside we has uh, have presented we made the SWOT analysis before also interview, also um, um, 
uh, brainstorming with people. So that's these things made a bit a time for the, the, the finalization of the strategy. Yes, it was our first. Maybe that's why it took a long time. Now we know how to do it for the next years. It will be a bit fast. And I think there was another consultant. Yeah, we are the consultant for helping us for the SWOT analysis and also be with us when we were, was, we were writing the strategy. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, thank you very much for this, this uh, presentation. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very good example of, of, of um, strategy. My question is not about the strategy, it's about the Did you have any, what have you established this music is good? Was there any initial idea why it was started? Was there anything in detail or anything in the, about the history of the why, why, what was the okay. challenge? Uh, okay, I think the history starting around 27 or 8, 20, 28. And um, we as Cote d'Ivoire, we were going to Wikipedia and saw information about Cote d'Ivoire, but there was very old about what mm -hmm. happens now. So some of us uh, decided to go and see what is Wikipedia, what is inside, what we have like a community back after Wikipedia, and how can we contribute to show Right information from Cote d'Ivoire in Wikipedia uh, on Wikipedia and uh, about for the world. That's what that's what was why we came to Wikipedia, and then we saw a community. Then we decided to bring our friends and bring all people from Cote d'Ivoire to that platform so that we will contribute for from Cote d'Ivoire on Wikipedia on all other uh, projects of Wikipedia. This is the, 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 yes, the things we have, why we are at Wikimedia and why we are moving on for the story. Yeah? Like, Sorry, okay. I'd just like to add on to that. Uh, there's always a plan when you start something, but then the association is loose and things change in between. So the, the financing structure changes, members coming in change, you have to respond to the legal framework that you operate in because you, you, take, you, you take a different shape and form and you need to realign now and say, we have a large group, we need to cater for it, but how do we cater for it moving forward? And that is why we also make it five years, because in five years, a lot has happened. And when you look at that, you can say this is going to guide our direction in the first, in the next five years. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw the My question is about the way the community, uh, what was, for example, the uh, perception, uh, what was the solution, the result, what was the question of the community uh, and expectations of the situation of the community? Um, about, about the analysis. When we made the analysis, we found some weakness, but also some strength. Then we can, I can, um, I can say for the weaknesses, we saw that we need to improve our local contribution on... I mean, what was the feedback of the community? Yes, this, this, this was the, the feedback. Community said that when we saw um, the, our presence articles on Wikipedia, we, it's very, it's, they are not uh, enough. That's an example. Also, uh, we see that members come and they go. How can we keep them so that they will we will improve the number of our party, uh, our members, for example? Also, we get um, some um, ideas that we need to be present in um, 
to be more representative of maybe are, are in the world. We need to know Wikimedia Cote d'Ivoire, if you are in, in Cote d'Ivoire, in Africa, in Europe, we need to know. So for us, it is important to be present maybe in, in Dababa, for example. So these are some ideas people gave, bring by uh, through the analysis or uh, the interview. Thank you. I think our time is over. Thank you and have a sweet day.